Well, I'm Artifact Smarts, and that old glowing yards and black money, the Pentagon's mysterious UFO program. They have a little love for New York Times, but we're gonna use them in this case. Uh, in $600 billion annual defense department budgets, $22 million spent on the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program was almost impossible to find, which is how the Pentagon wanted it. For years, the program investigated reports of UFOs from DOD officials, interviews with program participants, and records obtained by the New York Times. It was run by a military intelligence official, Luis Elizondo, on the fifth floor of the Pentagon Sea Ring, deep within the building's mates. The DOD has never before acknowledged the existence of the program, which it says it shut down in 2012. When the factors say that while well, Pentagon had been funding from their effort at that time, the program remains in existence. I wouldn't be at all surprised. In fact, I'd be surprised if it wasn't in existence. For the past five years, they say officials from the program have continued to investigate episodes brought to them by the service members who, while all, while also carrying out their other DOD duties. Shadowy program, parts of it remain classified, began in 2007. Initially, it was lar largely funded at the request of, oh my gosh, Harry Reid, the Nevada Democrat, who was Senate Majority Leader at the time and has had an interest in space phenomenon. Most of the money went to an aerospace research company run by a billionaire entrepreneur in a long time. Friend of Mr. Reed's, Robert Bigelow, who is currently working with NASA to produce an expandable craft for humans to use in space. Working with Mr. Bigelow's Las Vegas based company program produced documents that describe settings of aircraft that seem more to move at high, very high velocities with no visible signs of propulsion, or that hovered with no apparent means of lift. Translation, anti-gravity. Officials within the program have also studied videos of encounters between unknown objects of the American military aircraft, including one released in August, a whitish little object outside of a commercial plane, shaped by two Navy F-A-18 fighter jets and aircraft carrier, Nimitz, off the coast of San Diego in 2004. Mr. Reed, who retired from Congress this year, said he is proud of the program. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed or sorry I got this thing going. Mr. Reed said in a recent interview in Nevada, I think it's one of the good things I did in my congressional service. Probably the only good thing. I've done something that no one has done before. Two other former senators and top members of the Defense Spending Subcommittee, Ted Stevens and Latsman, Republican, and Daniel K. Inouye, Hawaiian Democrat, and also supported the program. Mr. Stevens died in 2010, and Mr. Inouye in 2012. This goes on and on. Uh, does anybody really believe that they don't have a program to look for uh, intruders? I mean, people see fighter aircraft chasing these things all the time. Now, I, uh, going to try to tack on an official DOD video. I managed to get one of these two videos to download. I'm going to tack that onto them, so don't go away. And then the, don't go away. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. You judge this stuff for yourself. But don't go away. Please. Because I will tack that on to the end of this. And uh, it's quite an interesting video. 
Saturn fighter aircraft. The artifacts of Mars. Don't go away. Hey, this is fucking drawn on, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. That's not our LNS though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like a thing, it's rotating. 